hello guys uh, today we will uh, see how to set up i3wm with node theme setup so first of all what uh, you need to do is you need to um yeah th uh, this uh, picture is nothing it's just the login screen which is being uh, active in here it's just like a picture so ignore that so you're gonna do windows uh, plus enter then you will get a terminal we have a key console as i'm using uh, kd as uh, as what to say as my uh, default <coughs> default external environment so what we will do is we will uh, install this uh, i3 gaps we will not use uh, the i3 wm as i3 wm doesn't have gaps between uh, different windows uh, which will uh, display in the screen so <coughs> we'll use i3 gaps so you want to install this <coughs> i think i3 gaps uh, after installing i think i3 gaps i already have the i3 gaps as i'm already inside i3 so i don't have rufi right now so i have to start firefox from the terminal so i'll start it and what we will do is we will go here slash and let me just sign out and uh, what we will do is um, we will search for this <coughs> it is a public repository so it doesn't matter uh, you can clone it so you will go here and we need everything from this config but before that uh, uh, we want to uh, we want to go here um, and this link uh, it provides the best way uh, to fetch dot uh, config files so yeah I'll provide this link in the description so what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, we're gonna scroll down to here install your dot files and just we're gonna copy this and then we're gonna paste it and it should work without any issue um yeah i'm already running firefox in here so let's open another terminal and then do this and then um we will copy this basically you just need to copy and paste some <coughs> configuration of git so uh then now we are going to replace this with the URL um, uh, you can just uh, press uh, mod and F mod means uh, that's windows key and F together it will open in full screen you can press mod F again to uh, exit the full screen then you we're gonna paste it here just like that and uh, I think it should work and it is uh, cloning after that uh, we're just gonna paste this and we're gonna config checkout and it is saying uh, the following untracked working trip files would be overwritten <coughs> so we need to uh, remove this and we need to config checkout again yep no error now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this whole thing and we're gonna paste it again and we're gonna config checkout again okay, and we'll uh, paste this one as well so everything is uh, likely done now so we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, install uh, the necessary um, applications we require uh, for i3 to work so it will be 
alacrity and it will be i3 blocks i3 lock gnome screenshot and done st for notification and we're gonna install of the and what else <coughs> um yeah then we'll just uh get those from pacman and we also we also need yay um as we need some files uh, some applications or packages from um a u r so as i i'm i'm using uh um arch linux so yeah um so we need uh, this cava then we need um we need polybar i think uh, backman has polybar it doesn't so polybar cava this pycom uh we will use some other pycom let me see if we have it if i have um yeah we'll use this pycom this one so we'll just copy this and paste it here and just press enter and it will install it will take uh, quite a lot of time because of that polybar as it will build the polybar so that will take some time um yeah it is not building so i'll see you guys uh, after the uh, after this uh, polybar gets built hello guys so it is now done and uh, um <coughs> right now we have installed the pycom polybar and keva through aur using ea now what we'll do is um um as uh, uh, uh due to this uh, with this method we have already copied all of this <coughs> in our dot config of this system so um we will uh, what we'll do is we'll look into the i3 config so i'll just get it just and then no, yeah no no that config slash i3 slash um what oh yep control x that config slash i3 alice um yeah so we'll get it config this is the actual config um which our system will use this so we'll just um we'll use nano nano config we'll just scroll through and we'll see all of the bindings like uh, if you press mod one what will what it will do what the system will do <coughs> um we need uh, these uh, these three commands if you have uh, two gpus like nvidia and intel uh, so um if you are using ssdm uh, um um that login manager then it will um use this nvidia uh, nvidia gpu as uh, the primary uh, primary uh, primary gpu for the display so you will get smooth display and uh, you will not get m much lag so we'll just uh check these you can check everything this is my uh config so um you will see what uh mod plus left will do um this is for mouse i think and what mod shift space will do it will create a float 
that mode shift uh, space will create a float like here. this will come up here as a pop-up so you need to go through uh, most of the bindings to understand what uh, um, what you need to press to do certain stuff so that's basically that's basically the uh, use of this um, <coughs> window manager so you can uh, get you can uh, navigate uh, through different tabs different workspaces faster and uh, um, smoothly so um, um, this is for the screenshot we are using gnome screenshot uh, yeah yeah but I'm looking for this uh, done ST this 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 is the actual configuration of the done ST which I have uh, this is my dynasty for the north theme as we are uh, um, using uh, we are um, specifying this i3wm setup with the north theme configuration so most of this uh, will be in a north theme uh, manner so we'll just go open this link and this is the actual setup so what we do uh, uh, we, i am also looking for the wallpaper this wallpaper should be in pictures slash 10 dot png so let's download some wallpapers i have a good collection of not wallpapers um that is one um let's just download um, let's just download this this one maybe let's download it we'll save it in pictures and the name will be 10 as uh, as it is mentioned in here in the i3 config we also need fair for that so what we'll do is we'll get out of here um, so we'll install the fair We also need JQ and Clash. After installing these uh, things, we'll just Control Shift and uh, R, which will reload the i3. And, and now you can see we are in this i3 setup so if I can show you so this is the actual setup um, yeah uh, but we need uh, much more things uh, things to things to do here um, as you can see the volume control is working fine but we cannot control the display if you are using a laptop we cannot uh, use the display um, screen brightness so we need to do certain stuff for that as well so what we'll do is um, we'll just uh, we need first we need is uh, um, we'll go here we'll just <coughs> we'll just search for this Um, the, um, yeah, I'll show you the repository yeah we require some stuff from here make sure you have uh, the font awesome we need the font awesome for that for uh, um, there's bars this polybar bars we need font awesome for that if you don't have font awesome it will not work you need to install font awesome I think I already have that so Yeah, it is using ZSH, I think. Yep, no. It is using bash, <coughs> but um, this uh this um this uh console was uh, this terminal was K console um uh, which was default as we, we didn't install 
um, alacrity um, but we did now and we reloaded i3 so now it is the default so if you press uh, um, mod plus enter or windows plus windows key plus enter it will open this so it will open the alacrity basically so this is alacrity so um, Um, what we uh, what we're gonna do here is um, um, yeah we're just uh, gonna see check if we have found awesome Yeah, we do actually have font awesome as there is no net upgrade, so we don't need to reinstall again. Yeah, we can, but yeah, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, um, now we require we require this uh, node one liner. It is somewhere here. We need to install this. I'll show you how to do it ex exactly. I'm gonna copy this. <coughs> we'll come to this repository. This repository. I'll provide this link in the description. You're gonna git clone. Oh, ah, we already copied. Then we're gonna go in here. I'm gonna copy this. Ah, uh, there is a command in here already. We don't have this location, so we'll create it. Now we'll just copy, paste, and. Uh, Yeah, we also copy it, uh, the um, dollar sign. I will check uh, if we have uh, successfully copied it or not. Start local share trophy themes. Yep, and now if you press uh, um modern d um, we are having issues fail to open yep so yeah which user okay the fallen but uh, we uh, yeah we, we need to go here cd cd dot uh, we need to go to config again but this time we'll go uh, in um, Rofi and we'll get it config dot Rasi. We'll see. Yep, this is empty. This is also empty. Yep, so we'll search for here. Yeah, let me just change this color. Let's just use uh, this one for now. Solarized dark. So we'll check for um, I think there should be the glitch. It is not here is in i3 so let me just test i3 and uh, we'll get it config Ctrl F Ctrl V um, no it is not mentioned in here as well so mm, 
polybar I think it will be in polybar so let me just um, go to Rofi mm. okay so it is in config.raci so okay so we'll just uh, change the username here okay now we'll just save and more uh, we don't need to reload just we control um, mod and d uh by mod i mean uh windows key so every time i say mod i mean windows key so press mod and d and it should open up uh this pop-up for applications now you can search for applications here and you can directly open it so we cannot we don't need to um do this anymore just uh running application from terminal so we'll just close it and we're all done we can just take on mod d and run firefox and it will work so we are mostly done electricity is working fine everything is working fine so you can see there is a blur setup here yeah the, <coughs> the blur is because of that pycom which we have installed um from aur we need that pycom um for this blur setup but now we can just um uh, we need to fix this as well this part so as you can see we can uh, it doesn't work if i uh, scroll so again we'll go to firefox again and it was um i think i have that in my bookmarks let me just search it how to set user to video group yeah we'll just uh, go here and let's just uh let's use the we'll use this command so should be what this command will do is it this command will uh, add the uh, current user to video group uh, so we can access this um, brightness which is a uh, uh, brightness um, call uh, which is uh, which is under this So let me just uh we also need to do one more thing for that um it is intel i think i have that in my bookmark yeah, i'll provide all of this uh all of these uh, um urls uh, all of these links in the description so um how we it is under this backlight yeah, this is the actual um, part where we can uh, um, control the backlight. Yeah. So what we will do is we will uh, use this method. Um, we will use um, this method. UDEF1 so we'll just uh we'll not, not use dashy we'll use nano we'll just paste this uh you can paste uh you can paste in alacrity using control shift and v and you can copy in alacrity using control shift and c you cannot use a uh, right click it doesn't work so Um, we'll use Intel. I think it was Intel backlight, but uh, let let's be sure. CD slash. 
slash slash class slash backlight slash intel that was it is in it is intel backlight we can ju we'll just select control shift c to copy and then we'll just control shift v we don't need this terminal anymore so we'll mod q press mod q to uh quit this window quit that window so i will paste it again here as well we cannot paste we'll just we'll copy again from here and we'll paste and we'll just uh control x y out so we are mostly done uh now we just need a review reboot uh, to enable the uh, laptop um screen brightness function mostly everything else is still working uh without reboot so let me show you you can uh, press mod d and it will open a d menu for you um it is a d run of uh, rofi you can uh, search for applications anything and it will just open um so this is basically my um polybar and the nord uh, i3wm configuration and rice so this will uh, show um date um the ist time uh, you can change it in settings in here everything uh which you need to customize in this um top and down panel you need to um um you need to edit this and this basically so 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 this is basically it um for time i think uh, there was a date part here mm. actually let's see what is this time so we'll control c i uh, will go here and we can see all of the modules you can use all of this can be used in here and down so basically if you want <coughs> something to uh, to add to top left part um here you have to mention it here like we have i have mentioned to fear on this and i3 this and at top center i have mentioned spotify it will uh, um it will be visible here in top right i have mentioned keyboard <coughs> um where is keyboard keyboard yeah it will show caps lock so if i press caps lock it will show caps lock there is also one for num lock yeah num lock so um it's basically this uh this is L, uh, yeah this uh, uh what is this this is date control f yeah so we'll go here again search for date <coughs> as you can see we have the date here if you use this format here this one just copy this just copy this and paste it in here it will show the i um gmt time i am right now using ist so this is it basically we have mostly everything set up and everything is working fine 
uh, this will show the applications opening in here and yeah so basically this was uh, my node setup and I've shown you how to uh, uh, do the setup and how do I set up actually if I install new distro so you won't get much uh, issues and you can also check if Nvidia is working fine Nvidia screen which it is so yeah pretty much it and thank you